It's still plus politics now. The postponement of the Convention of the All Progressive Congress, APC, instigated mixed reactions in the party, as some believed it was a proper choice and others believed it would have been avoided if the governor of May Malabuni led executive of the party had been more competent. Now, some stakeholders of the party under the auspices of the All Progressive Congress Rebirth Group have said, as part of arrangements of the, for the March 26 National Convention, it expected a different committee to plan the convention other than the Governor May Mela Buni led group. It's also, uh, also in a new development, uh, the 22 governors of the All Progressive Congress are expected to meet on Tuesday to discuss the issue of the chairmanship of the party. This was disclosed as the party named a 20 member convention subcommittee for the convention proper. Joining us to discuss this is Professor Usiju Medena. He is Director of Organization of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, Dr. Lukman, some days ago, had accused, uh, uh, in fact, made an allegation uh, calling some members of the party Yahoo Yahoo members. Um, he said that they, they were trying to hijack uh, the leadership of the party. Um, and he was speaking about, you know, the results of the shift of the um, convention date. Um, what are your thoughts on um, Dr. Lukman's allegations? You know, I don't try to uh, this with people, but you to explain the party programs and activities as uh, contained in the schedule of activities that uh, the convention commences on 24th of this month and will terminate on 25th of uh, March. What we should know, party uh, convention is an election. It doesn't start. Uh, uh, now, we start right in the situation uh, to what Congress that was adopted, I think, 8,809 votes. Then you have the local government leaders, they were uh, conducted successfully. Then you have the state Congress. You know, this is where the electoral college to convention to you. You will now come to the last lap. The last lap is the issue of the National Convention to elect the end of this member who are enshrined in Article 12, 4 of the party constitution. And in between, there is the issue of the zonal ethics who are expected to be part of the uh, delegate to the convention who are in that one is also enshrined in Article 12. 6. So, as you can see, everything in the schedule of activities have been met on. Uh, the issue of uh, members of the Convention Subcommittee is still ongoing. Just for form to now follow up. The zonal uh, meeting of the stakeholders is still ongoing. There is no cause to fall out. Okay. Um, l let's talk about those who s faulted the Buni-led uh, committee um, and uh, the postponement of this convention. Why do you think that the changes in date is getting this kind of reaction? Because we're hearing all kinds of reactions from different people yeah. within the party. Why do you think um, it's this, such a heated topic right now? This is a ruling party. And uh, if you could remember, this party is seven years old. Or they are about the in 2014, uh, the build up to the party was just to participate in 2015 election. Then in 2019, you have only Mr. President as the only candidate of the party who was given the first right of the future. There wasn't any candidate at that very material time or any astronaut. But this is built up to 2023, where you have a lot of people that are sharing to the president. There are people with aspirations. Definitely, it will raise a lot of issues. But if you know, there are some people who don't have any issues. They are just what I call conflict entrepreneurs. They benefit from inconvenience. So they will always try to create something out of nothing to show that really there is something. 
But the activities of the party will put those kind of um, claims to act. Mm. With all the many moving parts within the party and you know readiness um, for the um, convention, um, what is the assurance that this convention will indeed happen on the said date? Is it sacrosanct? March 26. Is it a date that will yeah, not be moved again? Indeed. Being that you still indeed. have many issues that need to be addressed still. No, I don't know about the issues that need to be addressed, but right now, the party is starting with the issue of convention. The uh, schedule of activities is out, and the party is following it as just to make sure that we meet up to time. So there is no any, uh, I think, uh, issue on the ground. But you should know, when there are agreements, the party always looks at it to bring its members, to reconcile them, and this reconciliation is an ongoing issue. Even after the convention, there will still be reconciliation. Okay, let's look at the issue of consensus and zoning. Where does your party yeah. stand on this particular matter? Because, I mean, every single person is talking. Um, the North is talking. The South is talking. The Middle Belt is talking. Every single person is talking. Um, there are those who believe that there are some anointed, already anointed ones within the party, hence the dilly-dallying uh, towards the convention date. And, and now that it's been fixed, they still are, there are still tongues that are wagging in that direction. Let me, let me just remind you of something. You see, the party constitution, Article 20 in particular, there are three methods of mood of election enshrined in the party constitution. One is indirect, two direct, and three consensus. So consensus is part of the party policy or procedure of electing a candidate. So the party will only consult with it itself. People will now agree and it agree at the end of it, they all agree to something. And it give a take. So if they just agree within themselves and say yes, we are going to present a consensus uh, so be it. Uh, most of the uh, congresses conducted, we had more than 60 to 70 percent uh, to consensus. So the party always encourage people to sit down and talk and dance before going into a ballot. But you should know, even after the consensus, there must be an affirmation that is enshrined in the constitution of the party so as to demonstrate that the candidate is not an imposition. So it's simply straightforward. Okay. Quickly, um, what is the APC doing to reconcile all those who are aggrieved right now? Um, as you're getting ready to um, have this convention, you're doing the zonal first before you do the main convention proper. Um, yes. Is there a reconciliatory That's process uh, mm. now? And, and, and quickly, it's a two-pronged question because we're going to wrap this up. And for those who are still aggrieved, those who have said they're going to court on this matter, will there be repercussions uh, those who are still speaking very loudly or criticizing the party, or in your words, um, the last time you spoke to a TV station, you said if they be doing certain anti-party, um, you know, practices, that they might um, face some repercussions. Will there be any such? The first question about the conciliation, I told you, is an ongoing. Right now, party is reaching agreed members, the new agreed members, not conflict interface, uh, interpreters, as I said those that actually had the food. It um, two, three of the schedule. It's talking about the donor stakeholder, where stakeholders can sit down, now discuss within themselves, try to distribute offices. There are seven and um, eight offices that is zonal offices. So to see, for instance, if you have, uh, let's take, uh, uh, North Central for instance, there are 60, then you have FPC Abuja. So now to discuss these eight offices, who is going to take the zonal by chairman, who is going to take the zonal uh, legal advisor, zonal organizing secretary, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. That is that. Then when you talk about people going to court, 
you see, this party has been linear to its members because the party constitution, you must exhaust internal mechanisms to demonstrate that, yes, there is injustice method on you. Okay. But the party has the right to even expel you. Okay. Supreme Court has given judgment that a political party is an organization. If okay. you see the rules and regulations and the process of the party does not fit you, you move to another party. Okay. But this party is always reaching its members, even those that come to media and say a lot of things. But the party will reach them and bring them back. Okay. Well, Professor Usiju Medana is the director of organization of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Thank you so much, Professor, for speaking with us. Good luck with your convention. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, I will give you my take. Well, here's my take. My message hasn't changed from what it was yesterday. I'm still asking that you see through these people who come asking for your votes. Do not take them at surface level. Carefully probe and ask them the most critical questions. Because we can't afford to make the same mistakes over and over again. We must not resign to fate or say, oh, well, I mean, our votes never count. It's what they want you to believe. So I say, don't stop at murmuring and grumbling. Take a stand, make a move to be part of the process. Because when they come with these promises, don't take it hook, line and sinker. Be interested in their history. Where are they coming from? Who are these people who are asking for your votes and not the propaganda that they want you to believe? And when it's time, go out and vote your conscience. Wait, watch it get counted. While you vote, do it with your future in mind, your children's future and Nigeria's future. That's my take. I'm Mary Anacone. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. It makes no difference as, as long as I'm concerned. My thoughts towards them moving the dates from one month to the other. It makes no difference. The event is what is important. So uh, posting it does not make any difference. But if by March they have it done, it's an event. Let's see what will happen. And we are all, Nigerians are waiting. Yeah. As a public viewer, I would just say that what I foresee, but in my own opinion, is that is something within the party, and these are the things. This uh, internal, uh, uh, what do you call it, crisis within the party. So I felt they have not put their house together, and and you, if you look at it, there's some power shuttle within them. We are to go to North Seat or any of these very places. I think that's some of the reason why they have not been able to come together and put and have a good and have a date. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong in moving their best shot by postponing their convention because maybe they might not put what they're supposed to put properly in place. They have to put their room in order before going for convention. There are some issues within the fashions which they have to settle. Without that, there's no way convention can be successful. There's something fishy about it because of the intra-party differences, because of everybody wants to present himself as a candidate for the presidency. So I think that is the reason why they had to shift it to other dates, which I was also watching last time. The different factions, the Boni faction, the Tinubu faction, name it. Sorry for me calling names, but that is what I know that is going on now. So just because of the interparty differences, that is why they shifted it.